My name is Erica Moore, and I am the Rhinds Rising Star Assistant Professor of Material Science and Engineering in the Herbert Wertheim College of Engineering. My work focuses on utilizing immune cells in biomaterial platforms. So we try to understand whether that be in different diseases or tissue regeneration, how we can leverage immune cells to help us build tissues or understand diseases better. My journey to becoming Forbes 30 Under 30, it began with a cohort of mentors. So I have several mentors who have cheered me on at different stages of my development and who have refused to let me quit even when I wanted to. So they're responsible for my nomination and for kind of that honor that I received being named Forbes 30 Under 30 in healthcare. We work in biomaterials on the bench, but our goal is to translate our work to the clinic. And one area of clinical translation that's kind of overlooked is the influence of race, ethnicity, and ancestry, sex, even age in diseases and in certain pathologies. I've known several people who have been impacted by systemic lupus erythromyelitis, which is a mouthful, but that's the kind of lupus that we study, and it disproportionately affects women. So if you have 100 people who have lupus, this kind of lupus, 90% of them are women. And of that 90%, almost 80% of them are African American women or women of color. And so that was just a huge disparity that I felt needed to be highlighted and hopefully using the resources that I developed at UF could be investigated. Our lab is focused on understanding immune cells using some of our biomaterial platforms. One of our platforms that we have is a vascular model or a vascular bed where we can take our patient cells, put them within our vascular biomaterial model and understand how immune cells behave differently based on their disease background. So for example, if we take a patient, say who's an African-American woman with lupus versus a Caucasian-American woman with lupus, we can take their immune cells and profile them in our model to understand how they behave differently. I came to UF because I felt like this college and specifically my collaborators in the College of Medicine would give me the access and the ability to grow into an independent and powerful scientist. So I was supported through my dean, through collaborators in the College of Medicine, through the Clinical Translational Science Institute, and so many other resources that are just kind of the norm at UF. I am driven by the fact that what I do in the bench, in the lab, can impact patients' lives. So that is an incredible power and honor that I take and I hold very seriously. So I think that sometimes being able to propose an idea and have that idea be shot down or meet with my mentors and talk about why this approach is better than that approach. That's very exciting to me because I think we're getting closer to impacting patients, which means that the work that I do will be meaningful, hopefully one day very soon.